Virtual Reality 360 TV Hi YouTube and welcome to this second tutorial on stitching Samsung Gear 360 footage with Color Auto Pano Video or Giga. In this particular video I'm going to be using Giga um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to stitch a still taken from the Gear 360. Now this was taken with the last year's model uh, not the Gear 360 2017 but the process is exactly the same so don't worry if you've got this year's model or last year's model okay so to start off with i've got photoshop open now you can use any other photo editing software for this particular task uh, all we need to do is basically make two images from the one raw image taken from the samsung gear 360. so I've got a, an image that I've taken, I've just loaded in uh, into Photoshop. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to crop the this left side of the image. It doesn't have to be perfect, I'm not doing any particular measurements, I'm just doing this by sort of by sight alone, and r rule of thumb really. So that's about right. So let's uh, copy that, let's create a new image. Now you probably you may have a quicker way of doing this this is just the way i do so let's move that across copy that new image paste that in there so we've got we've now got two images it's basic i'm saying left and right but it, it's the rear and the front of the camera so i'm going to save this image uh, save as I don't want to save it as a Photoshop file. I've got to save it as a as a JPEG file, of course. So there we go, JPEG. Um, I'm just going to call this left. Save that. Okay, go to this one. I'm going to save that. right and just make sure we've selected uh, save it as a JPEG okay okay so that was pretty quick it's pretty easy just to chop the images in half like I said you can use any imaging software to do this uh, I'm just using Photoshop for to do the uh, cropping okay let's minimize that and open up uh, auto panel giga so the first things first is we want to pull the two um, images into this part of the program. So let's see. Here's our saved images. So select both of them and pull them across. Let's minimize that. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is apply some properties uh, to the image. So we click on this little image properties icon. Now at the minute it's it's uh, it's not recognized anything like with auto pano video it actually does the software does recognize to a degree the focal length and the type of uh, lens but with giga for some reason it doesn't so we've got to put that in manually. So we put in fisheye and generally the focal length of the gear 360 is 7 mil so happy with that let's go to the crop now what i've i find is it generally it crops it a bit cl too close to the edge so i'm gonna pull that in a little bit on the two images now this reduces the amount of so it's a darkness on the edge of the crop i i find okay straighten that up there we go so seven mil two images next thing to do is let's click on the detect button which is going to attempt to stitch it okay um so it has stitched it looks like we're in luck here it looks like it's done a good job initially sometimes it can be a little bit hit and miss if we can see the rms value here they're saying it's very good and it's 3.38 which is quite a good stitch okay so first things first you'll notice that it's the you know the the horizon is all over the place it, that's easily fixed we just click on this move image tool 
and then I can drag up just to straighten the horizon now the horizon on this image is not going to be completely straight because it's it was quite a hilly uh, hilly shot in the first place so as long as you get it near enough if you don't adjust the horizon what you'll find if you look at some 360 photos uh, online when you pan round it kind of wobbles up and down uh, this cut cuts down on that and just makes it look a, a little bit um, more professional now also we can alter what you're first going to see when you load up your your 360 photo in whatever view you're going to use so at the minute that is looking at the front lens if I wanted to go and look at the back lens just move that or at the side whatever you want so you can easily move that about there okay so I'm happy with that at the minute so let's click on our control points tool now as you can see it's put control points in for us um, the good control points as a rule of thumb are generally very green the bad control points are red so I could probably live with that I could probably go with that and say that's a good stitch but I just want to explain to you how this uh, control points tool where actually works when you're putting in control points manually so uh, let's put some control points in manually then so I'll click on that side of the image and there just dragging around okay so it's put some in for us now as you can see it's kind of red and orange which at the minute it's, it's not a very good stitch so let's click on the optimize see if that straightens things up a bit so that's great let's uh, optimize that a little bit so we've got some more control points i'm just taking out a few of the bad ones so optimize again let's see what that looks like not too bad um, if you click on this little icon up here it's just a preview it takes away the, the, the lines gives you a, an indication of what it's going to look like okay so I'm happy with that it's done a pretty good stitch yeah right so the next thing to do is we're going to render the 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 image uh, now because it's an image it doesn't take it doesn't take an, a long time to render so let's click on this uh, render tool make sure we've got uh, a pointing at the right folder let's just go in here let's call okay let's come out of that in a minute Okay, so it's rendering now. Right, <clears throat> so that's rendered. So let's save the project as. Let's just go back to my <clears throat> folder. Save it there. Okay, right. Now I'll just we'll test out what it looks like in in a 360 viewer. I use the the GoPro 360 viewer. This is free to download, um, and it's it's not bad really. It does what it does what it does. So let's uh, have a look for our image that we've stitched, which is this one. Let's drag it in. Oops. there we go that looks fine now as you can see the horizon does bob up and down a little bit but the only reason that is is because that is actually hilly uh, it was quite a hilly shot so there's the stitch there it's not perfect I could spend a little bit more time trying to get the control points right uh, but it's not bad at all and the benefits of using color uh, auto panel giga is the resolution has generally improved from what you get out of the camera so if you want to squeeze a little bit more resolution and quality out of your 360 camera then this is uh, you know definitely 
a program to use okay so um there we have it that's how to stitch a samsung gear 360 still in color auto panel so if you have any questions on this just drop drop us a little message down below and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you in the uh, in the next video um, i'm probably going to start doing some tutorials on using tu uh, unity and creating um basically putting in a 360 camera within a unity game uh, i'll start it quite basic and then hopefully i'll do a few videos on on how to create a, a th basically a 360 game within unity okay thanks very much i'll see you all very soon thank you bye bye